Artificial intelligence is the latest craze in the tech world right now, with companies such as OpenAI building products such as Dali and ChatGPT using the power of AI to enhance human productivity. Despite all the ethical questions around these products, ChatGPT is without a question one of the coolest things I've ever played around with on the internet. It's almost scarily capable what it sets out to do. With that being said, I wondered, how well would ChatGPT fare if I asked it to write a ship review in World of Warships? How accurate would it be? How informative would it be? And most importantly of all, how funny would it be? Well, that's what I set out to find today as I tasked ChatGPT to write a review of one of the most controversial ships in World of Warships, the Thunderer. I asked the AI to review the ship one section at a time and I'm going to make this video based entirely on what that program generates. All words after this section will be written by the AI with no script editing from me whatsoever. With that being said, please enjoy the ChatGPT guide to the Thunderer. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round for I have a story to tell of the most fearsome vessel to ever grace the high seas, the Thunderer. This battleship is a legend in its own right and if you're looking for a good laugh and some serious destruction, then you've come to the right place. Let's dive into the world of World of Warships, the thinking man's action game, and take a closer look at this magnificent vessel. The Thunderer is a force to be reckoned with, and if you're looking for a battleship that packs a punch, look no further. This behemoth is equipped with an arsenal that will make even the most seasoned naval strategist gawk. The Thunderer's guns are so big, I'm pretty sure they could shoot the mood if they wanted to. It's like the Thunderer's developers took the term heavy artillery to a whole new level. But it's not just the size of Thunderer's guns that make her so fearsome, it's the way she wields them. She's got some serious accuracy and can take out multiple enemy ships in one fell swoop. It's like she's got an army of mini suns on her side, raining fire and destruction on all who dare cross her path. The Thunderer's guns are so powerful, you'll be hearing the sound of their boom for miles and miles. In conclusion, if you're looking for a battleship that will blow your enemies out of the water, then the Thunderer is the ship for you. Just remember, with great firepower comes great responsibility, so make sure you use it wisely. Now, let's talk about the Thunderer's armour and hull. This ship is like a giant metal fortress built to withstand the fiercest of storms and the most intense of battles. The Thunderer's armour is thicker than my grandma's famous lasagna and can withstand all but the most relentless of assaults. You might think, well, a ship that heavily armoured must be slow and lumbering, but oh no my friends, the Thunderer is as nimble as a ballerina. She may be a heavyweight, but she's got the agility of a lightweight. The Thunderer's hull is designed to handle all the punishment she can dish out and still keep chugging along. In short, the Thunderer is like the fortress of the seas. You'll be safe and sound behind her armour, whilst your enemies crumble under the weight of her firepower. It's the perfect combination of speed and protection, making the Thunderer a true force to be reckoned with. So if you're looking for a battleship that can take a punch and just keep on ticking, then the Thunderer is your gal. Just make sure you don't forget the sunscreen when you're out there on the high seas because the Thunderer's armour is so strong it might just block the sun. And now we come to the final piece of the Thunderer puzzle, her mobility and consumables. This battleship may be a giant but she's got the moves of a ballroom dancer. The Thunderer can turn on a dime and make quick work out of any enemy that gets in her way. She's got the agility to get out of tight situations and the speed to chase down those pesky destroyers. Are you sure about that? But what about those times where the Thunderer finds herself in a bit of a pickle? That's where her consumables come in handy. With her repair party, she could fix any battle damage in no time flat. And if things get really hot, she got a smoke generator to help her escape. It's like the Thunderer is always one step ahead of her enemies. In conclusion, the Thunderer is the epitome of a well-rounded battleship. She's got the firepower, the armor, the mobility, and the consumables to get the job done. If you're looking for a ship that can do it all, then the Thunderer is your gal. She's got the speed, the power, and the grace to make all your naval battles a hilarious and memorable experience. So buckle up and get ready to thunder your way to victory. And there you have it folks, the Thunderer, the battleship that's got it all. She's got the firepower to light up the sky, the armour to withstand the fiercest of storms, the mobility to dodge and weave, and the consumables to keep her afloat. She's like the superhero of the seas, always ready to save the day and bring a smile to your face. So if you're looking for a ship that will make your World of Warships experience unforgettable, then the Thunderer is your gal. With her combination of power, protection, and personality, she's sure to bring a laugh and a victory to every battle. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and thunder your way to glory. Ahoy, Captain! If you're looking to take the Thunderer to the next level, then listen up. I've got the perfect captain build and equipment loadout for you. First up, let's talk about the captain build. We're going for the Hot Shots build, so make sure to max out your fire prevention, demolition expert, and manual fire control skills. This way, your Thunderer will be able to take out multiple enemies at once with her powerful guns and keep those pesky fires under control. Now for the equipment loadout, and we're going for the Blaze of Glory setup. We want to maximize the Thunderer's firepower, so be sure to equip her with the main battery modification free, the advanced firing training, and the spotting aircraft. This way, the Thunderer will be able to take out enemies 
enemy ships with ease and spot their locations from a distance. In conclusion, this hotshot captain build and blaze of glory equipment loadup will turn the Thunderer into a force to be reckoned with. So get ready to thunder your way to victory, Captain. Just remember, with great firepower comes great responsibility, so use it wisely. Well, folks, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Thunderer in World of Warships. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I mean, who wouldn't want to see more of the Thunderer's power and personality in action, right? And if you're feeling extra generous, you can even hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. I mean, who wants to be the only one left on the docks whilst the Thunderer is out there, thundering her way to victory, right? So, don't be a landlubber. Join the crew and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Thunder away. <laughs> Human me here again. Uh, that was, that was certainly something, huh? I think my job is probably safe for now, but the AI did get some stuff scarily close. But then again, it also thought the Thunderer had a smokescreen. It also got weirdly obsessed with the Thunder wordplay, which was interesting. So I think we're fine for a while. But anyway, there we have it. The most useless review in World of Warships history. Let me know if you want to see ChatGPT attempt to review any other ships, as this was a lot of fun to make, and I hope it was just as much fun to watch. I'll see you in a few days for a proper ship review. Now go out there and Thunder away.